We hear a lot of people uh, express themselves uh, with the idea that we have to forgive and forget. We hear it all the time. Uh, we think that perhaps that is the holiest way of forgiving versus others. The, the, the idea is that I actually cannot find any place in Scripture where we are told in any way, shape, or form that we are to forgive and forget. I don't find it anywhere. I don't find it in the Old Testament, and I don't find it in the New Testament. I don't find it in the lips of Jesus at all. We do find many passages where we are told that our sins will be washed away completely, that they will be counted to us far away from us as the east is from the west, that they'll be so removed that they will no longer affect us, especially in the presence of God. I think all those passages basically tell us how gracious God is and that He will not count them against us. Not necessarily that God Himself forgets all of the, pe all of the things that the people of Israel have done through the wilderness, their failures, their idolatrous ways, their many ways in which they sin against them, and they get reminded of it through the Old Testament, uh, either by the prophets or in other places by the Word of God. They get reminded of them so that they don't do it again, so that they correct themselves, so that they see the effect that their sins have caused in their separation between God and Him. We find it even in the New Testament. In 1 Corinthians, the letter of Paul to the Corinthians, uh, where, where Paul reminds him of the things that happened in the wilderness and then says to the believers, the New Testament believers, these things were, are told to you so that you don't do them today. It is not rational that we would completely erase from our minds events from our lives. There is a big difference, though, between forgiving and forgetting. We are called to forgive. We are called not to count the sins of others as we expect God not to count ours. If you truly are going to forgive from your heart, you have to give it away. Give it to God. Bring Jesus into the situation, into the memory, and ask God to heal you from those things that have hurt you. But forgiveness is of God. Forgetting, I'm not sure, is reasonable to us.